In this video, we're going to take a look at the fixed layout. Now, in all of the previous videos in the CSS layout series, we designed a flexible or liquid web page. And let's open that up right now. And you can see it expands out nicely and, and takes up all the space in the browser window. Now let me open up the fixed layout. Now I've already coded this. So we're not going to spend a lot of time uh, filling in the content panels like we did in the liquid layout. That's pretty much the same. But what I want to do is talk about the main differences between a fixed layout and a flexible layout. So let's go ahead and open up the fixed layout now. And you can see that is the first major difference, that it doesn't expand out to the entire length of the browser window. You can see we've got some white space. And that's because I have fixed this at 968 pixels in terms of the width. It cannot go any farther than that. And so if we toggle back to the flexible layout, you can see that we cover the entire length of the browser window. So that's the first major difference. Now, how do we do this? We, we create what's called a container div. And that's the first and biggest difference between a fixed and a liquid layout. We are actually creating a container to hold all the rest of our divs. So the header, the nav, the main content, the sidebar, they are all put inside one div, which is appropriately called a container div. And I like that name container because that's what a container does. We put things into it and it cannot expand outside of it. So it acts like a box, a container. It's even called a wrapper. Some people will call it that. And so let's take a look at the code now. And you can see we have the same sections that we did in the flexible layout. We have the header, the nav, the sidebar. We have the main section. But what's different is the container CSS code. And that's what I created right here. So this, of course, is a style sheet. Let's take a look at the HTML. Now, here is the container right here, the div. And here is the closing div tag for that container. And you can see all the rest of the divs are contained inside of it. So that's the first thing you have to do when you want to create a fixed layout. You want to create a container div and then wrap all the rest of the divs inside the container div, which again closes down here. Now, if we take a look at the CSS code for the container, here's where I set the width, 968 pixels. So like I said before, it, it cannot expand out any farther than that 968 pixels. So if we flip back to the fixed layout, from this edge to this edge over here, it is 968 pixels long. It will not go any farther, so it won't go out to maybe 1,200 pixels. I have basically indicated that all the sections have to be contained within 968 pixels. So that's the first thing you would set is a maximum width. Now we will set the margin to zero pixels and also use this value called auto. And what that does is center the entire web page. And so let's flip back here and you can see here it's centered on the web page. And if I didn't have that set correctly, it would place the web page over here to the left. And I'll show you that right now, actually. So let's go ahead and just remove this and we will save our style sheet. Let's go back into the web page and we will hit refresh. And you can see now the web page is now rendering from the left side of the browser. And that's because I'm not centering the container anymore. So let's put that back and save this. And if we hit refresh, everything is centered back nice and neat. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. In the next video, we will continue on with a fixed layout. Oh, one more thing. As usual, I will paste all of the source into the YouTube message board for this fixed layout.